they can deliver the first bit of Martian soil to the heart of the rover, the organic chemistry lab called SAM, to see if it survived the trip to Mars. Here we are, the first scoops of this soil from Mars are getting dumped into SAM. A lot of pressure, a lot of eyes on this. SAM will search for Martian organics, the building blocks of life, by heating up powdered rock and soil and analyzing the vapors. But it's complicated by another problem, something in the sand that's native to Mars. It's called perchlorate. It's explosive, and it's triggered by heat. Now, the problem that that poses for us is that the way we analyze our samples is by heating them up in an oven. So what I'm going to do is take a little sugar and put it in the spoon. That's our organic matter, the sort of thing we would love to be able to detect on Mars. But in addition to the sugar, now comes the perchlorate. Now, that's the stuff that we think is causing the problem on Mars. We're not going to do what we would do on Mars to detect that sugar, which is heat up the sample. This is exactly what's happening on Mars. The perchlorate is reacting explosively with the organics, releasing this oxygen that burns the organics. Uh, it's not as dramatic as we just saw here because the concentrations are much higher here, but it's certainly not a way to detect sugar. All we're gonna see is smoke. The explosive reaction scrambles the identity of whatever was in the sample to begin with, making it that much harder to sort out real Martian organics from contamination. It's easy to get fooled by Mars. Mars is indeed an alien place, and so we, we hit unexpected problems. Perchlorate was the big one. 